Now we have our plumber with us, Michael Kojo Forsen. Yeah. Good morning, Michael. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you too. When we say plumbing, can you tell us a bit about the job? What does it take to be a plumber and what is a plumber? Being a plumber, before you can be a plumber, it doesn't need you to go to school to the highest before you'll be able to learn plumbing. Mm -hmm. Provided you can read and write, okay. that should be enough okay. for you to go into training as a plumber. Mm -hmm. And then by doing that, uh, you'll be a successful plumber because these days, uh, I could see that most of my mates went to the university. Some of um, me in particular was not able to get the, uh, the chance to go to university. And then I was not able to get job going up and down, looking there and there. Through friends' advice, uh, I decided to go into plumbing. Mm -hmm. Because before I went there, I was able, uh, before I was good in uh, act work. Oh, really? okay. Yes. Carpentry, masonry, uh, and all the uh, artisan work. I mostly electricals. I, I'm interested in doing all those things when I was at home. Mm -hmm. So when I came and job was not anywhere to be found, mm -hmm. I tried to create the job myself. Wow. Right. So, so that's what pushed you. That, that was what pushed me into learning plumbing. Okay. What was your first week like as a plumber, if you can remember some 20 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was 98. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I started my plumbing job. And then it was very tedious. Mm. What made it tedious? <laughs> because as a, a learner, your master will ask you, give you pickers and shovels. You start digging, mm. collecting or excavating the, the soil mm -hmm. before you put your pipes, bury your pipes underground. Okay. You use more hammer chisel, you chisel the walls mm -hmm. and then fix in your pipes. Mm -hmm. After doing all those internal pipe work, you go to outside and then continue the uh, 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 external pipe works. Mm. We call them phase one, phase two, phase three. Okay. So the phase one is the internal pipe work, and then the external pipe work is the phase two. Okay. Phase three, installation of the fittings. Okay. Right. So basically, you went through apprenticeship, apprenticeship. for a while. How long did it take you to it take me, master? It took me two years. Two years. And then it, the, the agreement was three years. Mm -hmm. But when I studied up to two years, my master allowed me to feed myself because mm. uh, uh, I'm serious about the job. Well, and, you showed and, and, promise and, uh, yes. and then your master was convinced, you convinced good that I'm good to year. go. Mm. Mm. So I studied for two years instead of three years. Yeah, because we are very fast learners. Yes, yeah. please. What were some of the things you picked up from your master? Because there are some people who feel like, oh, I'm just an apprentice. I won't apply myself. Yeah. How did you apply yourself to the job uh, when you started? My master was somebody who is uh, very strict okay. mm -hmm. and difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in the same age with him, age group. Okay. So sometimes he tried to intimidate me, <laughs> <laughs> thinking maybe I may not be able to mm -hmm. uh, 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 submit myself to mm -hmm. his control mm -hmm. so that maybe I will leave the work and go. Mm -hmm. But uh, I humble myself because I know what I was looking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I humble myself till the time he himself find out that no, what he was thinking mm. is different. Mm -hmm. right. So uh, I, he became a friend. We became mm. a friend. Wow. Yeah, right. I became a friend to my master. So after learning the skill, did you work with him for a while or immediately you branched into practice? Uh, I worked practice? with him for three months mm -hmm. and then he allowed me, if I want to work with him, I can still work with him or mm -hmm. be on my own. Right. So after three months, I, I, I went looking for my own. Mm -hmm. And God willing, a friend also introduced me to a company. I've been working for a friend as a, a, a laborer, a mm -hmm. by day worker. Okay. So I work for the, the friend, take the job, I go work for him, he pays me at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And then through that, uh, the company, uh, the, con uh, the contractor employed me to as a member of the company. Mm -hmm. Wow. And now, he gave me subcontract myself, and then I do as my friend also do. Nice. And, and I'll, I'll say it's a good job. It's a good job. I, it's a good job. I love the job. What does it take to be a good plumber? Uh, 
being a good plumber, I would say seriousness is one. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, uh, small, small TV. Mm. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you need to yes. be honest on the job. You need to be honest on the job. Mm. Okay. Because uh, plumbers, we mostly go into people's bedrooms. Yeah. Right. You will see things there, things you haven't seen before, mm -hmm. especially money. Mm -hmm. the, the person might may even leave his money on the bed. Mm -hmm. You will pass through the bedroom before going into the, okay. uh, the bathroom. Right. And there are so many things there if you are somebody who uh, uh, will say, mm -hmm. you would like to do whatever, and that will You're end greedy. your, yeah, yeah, greedy, that will be the end of your career. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, because of that, uh, God has given me the, the mercy to be able to go to so many places, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or big, big people's rooms, mm -hmm. working for them, and uh, it has helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. and so humbleness is, is the key. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, Let, let's talk about the job proper yes. plumbing yes. what would be the first approach say i want to put up a house and i invite you to come in with your expertise where do you start first uh before before because before a plumber comes in mm -hmm. when a building is putting up mm -hmm. when uh, uh, when they start the foundation the floor level before the, the floor level is cast mm -hmm. a plumber is invited okay. uh, to check the, where his pipes will go. Mm. Right. But before you do that, you will have to uh, uh, get the drawings, you okay. study the drawings, you know where your, your pipelines mm. will go, uh, where your safety tank is going. Doing that, you will know where exactly to position your pipes, and then uh, at the end, you will be able to mm. uh, finish with a good job. Okay. Right, so that means as a plumber, you need to know a little bit it's, about architecture so you can read the read plans, it, yeah. the drawings, and understand yeah, And also mathematics, because mm -hmm. there's calculation. How? Uh, How do you, what, what are you calculating? Uh, because uh, the dimension of the room, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. let's say uh, this is a, a, a 15 by 15 uh, uh, apartment, or mm -hmm. let's say a 8 by 8 bedroom, uh, mm -hmm. uh, washroom. Mm -hmm. So you are to plan and then design the, be the, the washroom where the, the bath is going to be, where wash and basin is going to be, where your, you uh, put your WCs, mm. where the window markings are. Because when you go and then put it anywhere, mm. you, will know, you may not get it right. Okay. And that is why you will need to study the drawings and know the positions of where your pipes will be. Wow. And then uh, when it happens like that, at the time the building is completed, we'll finish with the, uh, the first phase, Second phase, and then we come to third phase, which is the installation aspect. Okay. There, before they will see the right, the, the exact work that you, the plumber, did. Okay, because they, now they can mm, see. Yeah, because exactly. all the first and second them. ones, they will all be in a wall mm. okay. and underground. Nobody sees it. Wow, but how important is it to do that job well, even though no one sees them? Yes, because that is to get uh, the drawings uh, uh, well. Okay. If you are able to read your drawings well, because uh, you are not the designer, what you what you want is not what the the owner of the apartment or the building wants. Mm -hmm. So you are to study the uh, the drawing that the architect has put in place for the builder uh, for the owner of the apartment. Mm -hmm. So you study that well, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to position your pipes to the exact place. When everything is set, you will be able to fix your uh, or install your uh, the sanitary waste that is the wc the basin the washing machine uh, water heater because let's say in this in this studio we have glasses at some place we have walls at some place mm -hmm. you can't go and hang uh, a water heater at where the, gl the, the glass is yeah. you have to hang it at where a it's wall a is wall. and you have yeah. to position it on the wall mm -hmm. okay. so if you are not if you uh, do your connections well and set your pipes in in the wall before mm. it gets to that time. At the end, uh, you will pay for what you will pay for every damage. Wow! <laughs> yes. Now walk us through some of the buildings you've worked on. Uh, I've worked on a, a six-story building. Okay, so we're, we're looking at this one yeah, here. This one mm -hmm. is four. Okay, it's a four-story building. This, what what this exactly is, did you do with this building? Uh, this building. Uh, I did an external, uh, both in internal pipe work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Top of the roof, we have a poly tank. 
ah. on top, but it's mm. not fixed yet. Okay. Uh -huh. So we'll you would have to go there? Yes, I'll go there to fix. To connect the pipes the, all the, the way The pipes up. are already mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yes. there's a reverse mechanism that should go yes. to uh, that's all. Mm -hmm. So we have the polytank. Uh, positions we have WCs, we have mm -hmm. kitchen, mm -hmm. we have washrooms, uh, guest guest toilet, all the things are there. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about this one? Is it the same building? Yeah, this is the, yeah this is the the starting point of the building. Okay, right. okay. This is the starting point, the the foundation. The foundation okay. level. After the foundation level, we position our pipes mm -hmm. to where it's supposed to be in the wall, okay, within the building. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So this is even before the pillars and everything yes, is cast? Yes, before the pillars and everything mm -hmm. is cast. Okay. okay. How okay. important is it for a plumber to pay attention to detail? Because if you don't pay attention to details, you may, you may end up spoiling the whole job mm -hmm. and the whole building because uh, there are pillars. After the pillars are cast, you can't do chisel mm -hmm. because the pillars are the main thing holding the building. The building, yeah. building. So if you don't position it well, mm -hmm. and you put a pipe in a in a in a, 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 a in a pillar, well for pillar, and yeah. then later you find out that that is not the right place you're supposed to mm -hmm. position it, then you damage mm -hmm. the building. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You damage the building mm -hmm. because you and you can't achieve what you wanted to mm -hmm. do, yeah. and you'll be regarded as. Uh, a unreliable yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on the field you're working with other artisans carpenters yes. and steel benders yes, and all. Yeah. how important is it that you complement each other's work yes it's very important because uh, it's like a, a teamwork mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a teamwork I say both artisans work. carpenter mason electrician plumber we all join together before a building is set up, mm -hmm. and we rely on each other. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might even be making a mistake. A mason will call to your attention, wow. and you will have to uh, uh, listen to him. Don't show, don't don't be pompous or show arrogant, mm -hmm. and because uh, sometimes escape of mind, yeah. you, may, mm -hmm. you you might forget something and you draw your attention. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he, they, they, uh, especially sometimes the masons has to start the job before we plumbers came in, comes mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. The carpenter has his part doing, mm -hmm. and when uh, let's say the carpenter will also uh, form the uh, the woodwork mm -hmm. for the mason to do his concrete work. Right. Yeah. So if the mason's measurement is uh, is wrong, the plumber will get it wrong. Wow. The carpenter, carpenter will get it, get it wrong. wrong. Hmm. The electrician will mm -hmm. all get it wrong. So we all depend on each other, mm -hmm. and then we take our advice from each other. Wow. Yeah. Briefly, let's look at the application of technology in your work. Because growing up, uh, we saw plumbers, they come and then they use their servants' paper, they light it up, and then <laughs> they soften <laughs> the pipe to open it up on yes, some level. Yes. Are you still doing that? No, no, no. no, no what no, is no. of technology you're yes, applying now? Yeah, due to technology, now some, sometimes we, we, st we, we, we still do it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> because um, Why we, do you we, still we, do we, it? We still have the old apartment and the uh, old material, the old type of materials we use in working, what, that calls for the melting of the pipe with fire. <laughs> and, and you still use the cement so, paper? So, we, no, that, now we use uh, gas. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, now we use gas. Mm. Okay. <laughs> now we use gas. And these days, too, I would say, we're, due to the modern technology, we are no more using the, the, the fire or the, the, the cement paper again. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because um, <laughs> now the pipes in uh, the system now it's called PPR okay. pipes and they are very durable nice. they don't cause leakages okay, okay. <laughs> so those are the ones we are now using and those ones you don't need glue okay. or you don't need fire to melt it okay, okay so and you, we you use, have better uh, we, materials yeah we have uh, a, a tool that called a heater okay <laughs> PPR uh, uh, heater heater. Mm -hmm. uh, heater machine mm -hmm. okay. so we plug it with electricity and, and then done. it it melts it. Mm -hmm. You join it, and that's the end. You don't need glue. You don't need anything to join it. Wow! Uh, and it's very solid. Now you've been doing awesome. this for about twenty one years. Yes, and you've please. been to all sorts of places <laughs> in the world. How did you end up in Afghanistan? <laughs> 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 and what did you do there? Uh, Afghanistan. Uh, my going to Afghanistan is a long story, but I'll cut it short mm -hmm. by saying uh, my younger brother. Uh, he's good in IT. 
Okay. Oh, okay. So he's always on the net, and mm. he's an electrician too. Okay. Right. So he's always on the net, looking for a job. He says he want to travel. I say okay, if only you get, you get a chance. Mm -hmm. And God willing, he went first. Mm -hmm. So he went to Dubai, and then uh, was there working very nicely. And then later, he called me and told me there's an opportunity somewhere. So if I'll be able to go, then he will connect me. Nice. I said okay, I wish I can go. I will. So he do he should do that for me. So he did everything. And then he, he, he sent me email, he sent my email to the, the company. I would say he uh, contracted the, uh, everything for me. Okay, mm. but how was your experience in Afghanistan as a plumber different from your experience uh, in Ghana? Yes, that place was far different. Mm. Okay. Far different from what we do here. Okay. Uh, far different because the weather. Ah, the weather yeah. there. The it's snow, cold out there. The cold out yeah. there. When, when, when it's hot, it's really, really is heat. This one yeah. is heat, not hot. Heat. Very serious. Very serious. So okay. my first experience when I went there, terrible. Uh, very terrible. But you like Dubai? Yes, I like there. But mm -hmm. that place, I like Af Afghanistan more than Dubai. Mm. Really? Yes. Why? I like the weather there more than Dubai. You just complain mm -hmm. about the cold. Yes, but I like the cold band than the heat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah. in Afghanistan, did you, were, were you doing some private work or you worked with uh, no, on contract uh, basis yes. for a particular one, one, company? Yes, I work with a company called NASA. Mm -hmm. Okay. NASA Construction Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Okay. They are in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So when I got the, the, the employment there, I was working for them there, and then uh, the later asked me that they've got a contract with the U.S. government mm. at Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Wow. So if I, want, if I wish, because some of the workers are afraid to go. Mm. So if but I, you are not afraid. I'm not afraid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just want to go and see what is going there, yeah. going on there. And so, you, you enjoyed yeah, your time yes. in Afghanistan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Were they still at war at the time you went yes, there? Yes, they were still at war. Mm. Okay. Michael, you've <laughs> talked extensively about your work. Uh, if our viewers want to get in touch with you, is there a number they can reach you? Yes, to that's, that's 0249 mm -hmm. 0041 Okay, say it again. 0249 mm -hmm. 0041 Thank you very much. You're welcome, Michael madam. Thank you, madam. Really helping us appreciate your work as a plumber. Thank you. Thank you at home for joining us, right? It's really important. I mean, I learned so much. What did you yeah, learn? Yeah, I mean, the oh. fact that uh, you, you don't limit yourself to your comfort zone and you're able to go out there. He mentioned that the company was in Dubai. Then yeah. they won a contract with the, the U.S. government for a project in Afghanistan. He was not the only worker there, yeah. but then he was the only one who asserted bold himself. Enough to, bold enough Would to you go. go to Dubai right now if City told you that we have an opportunity? No, not Dubai. Why not? <laughs> Afghanistan. Uh, uh, Afghanistan. I'm going to have to grow my beard a little longer <laughs> than I can go. <laughs> but guys, what I took away was pay attention to detail, okay? Mm -hmm. And be an honest person. Exactly. Don't go stealing from your customers. Yeah. Right. And focus on doing such a good job mm -hmm. that you will always retain your clients. This and it would definitely pay off. Definitely. Yeah. This is Breakfast Daily <laughs> on City TV. My name is Jifa Ikea Amitam. And my name is Nanati Forbwati. The hashtag is Breakfast, Breakfast Daily. Daily. And the most applied is 0550-585-832. Hi there. I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share with all of your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City Team. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.